We'd like to do something now for the Canadians in the audience. Do we have any Canadians here today? All right. We'd like to bring onto the stage a man I'm sure you all know and love. He's here um, selling his book. It's a new book. It just came out. It's about his life. Ladies and gentlemen, Monsieur Jean Chrétien. Allô. Allô. <laughs> Mr. Chrétien, you're, you're uh, promoting your new book. Uh, how's it doing? You know, that book is a million seller. You call it a million seller? I have a million in my cellar. Ah. Did the hard money cats already do I that joke? I, I hope know. not. But, um, <laughs> sir, now that... Hello! That, that book would be a, a book about history, right? Well, you know, it's my book and I'm history, so, uh, you know, that's a history book. <laughs> but it does not go back to Canada, B.C. Canada, B.C.? Before Chrétien. No. Ah, no. But, you know, the thing about Canadians is they, 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 don't know, they don't know much about their history, do they? You know, the thing about Canadians is they don't know much about their history. And you know, those who don't know the past are doomed to repeat it. That's why I was re-elected so many times. Now, now that book, is, is, is that about Canadian history? Have you been... I've learned many things, yes. you know. Like for example, I learned that for thousands of years, people would come to Canada, but they would not stay. There were uh, Viking guys, Irish guys, Portu, Portu guys, and they would come. <laughs> But they would not stay because they were not able to deal with the harsh climate. Yes, it is harsh. For example, they would have a kayak and they would light a fire in it and uh -huh. it would sink. <laughs> but we know today that you cannot have your kayak and heat it too. <laughs> Hello! Uh, <laughs> and you know, some yeah, of there's more? <laughs> yes. there's more. Some of them were attacked by bears. Attacked yeah. by bears? Yes, because they, you know, they did not hang up their meat in the trees at night. Ah. But we know today that bears will not attack when the stakes are too high. <laughs> Hello. Now, sir, of course... There's worse jokes than that in this <laughs> act. This, this book actually is about your tenure as prime minister. It was tenure. It ten was tenure. Yes. Yes. And I was the prime suspect minister for, uh, for tenure. Yes. And uh, you you know, that was my job. You were the prime minister of Canada. And of course, uh, when you stepped down, uh, one of the most difficult things you had to face was you weren't allowed to uh, appoint the successor in your party, the, the man who would take your place. That, was, that, that no. was difficult for you to accept, wasn't no, it? I told the Canadian people that was not my job. I had my job, and my job was to be the Prime Minister of Canada. That yes. was my job. Yes. And I had my job. And when you have a job, you do your job because that's your job. Yes. And that was the job that I had, and so I did it. That was my job. Right. You know, when you do your job until it's not going to be your job anymore, someone else will have your job, but it's not your job to find some guy to do your job. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everybody understand that. Now, only the Canadians here today understood that, sir. But <laughs> of course, the man who took, took your job was Paul Martin. And I want to ask you right here, right now, do you have a grudge? I have a two-card grudge. <laughs> Hello. Now, recently in Canada, we had an election, and uh, uh, a lot of things changed. But you know what? The Bloc Québécois, the separatist party, they did really well in Quebec. And isn't it amazing how, how they survive after all these years? You know, they are a phenomenon. They are a phenomenon. They are a phenomenon. Yes. And they remind me of Trudeau. They remind you of Trudeau? You know, they say that Trudeau is dead, but his ideas live on. Right. But with the Bloc Québécois, it's the other way around. <laughs> Their ideas are dead, but they live on. I don't know. Now, of course, the guy who led the Liberal Party in that election uh, was one of your protégés. That's a French word. Yes, uh, <laughs> Stéphane Dion. That's two French words. Yes, and uh, of course, he, we, we know that he was very concerned with the environment, wasn't well, he? Well, good for him. I knew it was there. <laughs> it, it, it seemed to take a special place in his platform, though. And he, even, he even named his dog Kyoto. That was, not, that was not the environment. He named the dog Kyoto because of the climate. Climate? Yes, because every time that dog sees a leg, he wants to climb it. That's so so I warned you about these jokes. Okay. Uh, 
Now, in your book, I know you criticize uh, Canada's current foreign policy, don't you? But not, you know, not uh, the Force Army Canadien, not the troops. They have a hard job to do. And it's very difficult for them because they have to obey questions without orders. And that's... Yeah. <laughs> Now, now, during your tenure, and even before, when you were in Trudeau's cabinet, you worked uh, with Art Eggleton. He yes. was your, your Minister of Defense. Yes. And uh, when, when you were Prime Minister, he was your Minister of Defense. You guys worked so well together, yeah. and it must have been very difficult for you to accept the fact that he had to resign because we found out that he gave his girlfriend a job. Ah, he gave her a job. She gave him a job. So what? But, you know, yeah. that, that's not our business, you know? But no, that's yes, not our sir. business. Sir, but my point is that it must have been difficult because you guys, you, you work so well together. Was, well, we had a system. You, you had know? a system. We had a system and it was a good system. It was based on the fact that he was discreet. Discreet. He did not say what he was knowing. Uh -huh. And I did not know what I was saying. And that, that, that was, that was system. your system. It worked that works well, well in politics. Now, now, now what, do you, what do you think about the wild fluctuations of the loony? Ah, uh, Stephen Harper. I don't know. <laughs> No, no, but th th now that you mention it, sir, of course, uh, when you were prime minister, we never thought the conservatives would get back in power. And, and, and there they are. Uh, why do you think that, that there was never any question of them getting power when you were there? It was Stockwell Day who was leading them, right? Stockwell Day was too far to the right. He was too far to the and right. And when he wore a wetsuit, everybody could see that. <laughs> and, you know, and for me, that's why he wasn't able to control his caucus. And you know, you, in, in the, you know, in our system, you have to control your caucus, and I did that, yes. and, and I had a big one. Yes, well, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the former Prime Minister of Canada, Monsieur Jean Chrétien. Merci. Merci.